I'm working on the Honda Prelude. The part knock sensor, if I didn't pass smog. And so uh, I looked, I thought it was oil sensor, but then I realized it was the knock sensor. So I got it here up in the air and uh, I get to the knock sensor, take the oil filter off and I pull the, try and pull the cord out and the knock sensor breaks, the plastic part breaks off. So I see the back of the connection where it plugs into the wiring harness. Not the same connection. So now it's like, and the electrical part, I already tried to return it one time when I thought it was the wrong part. And they told me there's no refund on electrical parts. So the Pet Boys, they'll said they, they'll use my part. And I'm going to take the Pet Boys and let them install it. And plus it's really hard to get to. And I probably have a wrench for it in Orange County. I left it in my truck. I didn't realize that it was going to be it was going to be so difficult to get to because it's it's up under the intake manifold in the center because it's got to be right next to where the piston when it sparks and the explosions ignition starts in the motor. So it's like way up there. So you know, for seventy bucks. And that way, hey, if they say, hey, it's not the same connection, we can't do it, then I can say, well, I bought your part. You see, it's, you guys sold me the wrong part. So here, you know, give me my money back, 100 bucks. I don't know. It's, if it's kind of stuck in there a little bit, it may not come out very easy. So, and then if I strip it or break it off, then it's really a nightmare. So it might be better to let the dealership do it. Half hour, maybe an hour or two, figure it out. And I've been trying to get it so I can get it on screws. I realize, you know, it's more of a nightmare and dangerous. If I strip that bolt or something, then it's going to be more of a headache. Better let someone else do it.